No one kills me. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how to make the PMC or a PMC AK-47. I'm not going to say the because there's umpteen million variations for this. But I'm going to go with the more tactical variation. That way it looks cooler and y'all would want to play with it more. But anyways, we'll get up into the gameplay or how to build it then the gameplay and then my little bit of knowledge of the PMC world <clears throat> so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the Spetsnaz elite barrel you're gonna put that on there and then you're gonna swap the stock and put the uh, either one of these two will work um, to make it the tactical variant then you can also use the skeleton you can use any of the stocks you want pretty much but if you want the tactical version you can run these two uh, this one is your aim walking and this one is your ADS I personally am gonna go for the ADS so it's kind of up to you guys what you want to do and then from here you can kind of add your own attachments um, this is just the bare bones gun um, you can go with the muzzle under barrel magazines extended magazines a laser, an optic, a rear grip, or a perk. Um, so because this is the AK-47, we're not going to touch the 545. I may do an AK-74 variant and kind of just show you all the difference and whatnot. I don't know that any PMCs actually use the 74 because it's a little harder to come come by. But just for the sake of fun, I may end up making a video about it. But anyways, I'm going to run a commando grip. Um, and actually, in my time of playing with this, I'd much rather probably run maybe the ranger grip. Because it gives you the aim stability. Um, I don't know if it, how bad it will affect the ADS speed. But that's just something to keep in mind. And I'll get into explaining that more later. Um, but anyways... Uh, we're gonna move up to the optics so you could basically because this is a PMC variant and it's not country of origin specific you can basically put any any optic on here you'd like um, basically they could go to the armory on base if they work on base and find a, uh, a holographic site or they can buy one of their own and put it on there uh, also the elk inspector or the uh, um, aim point um, but I've grown fond of the Viper so I'm gonna throw the Viper on there um, and we're basically gonna just run it like this um, I would opt to put an extended mag on there um, if that was if it was if I was you I'd put a magazine on there over a muzzle device but that's up to you guys y'all can do it whatever way you want um, also, if you want to make it more tactical and tac tactical, uh, you can also also go into and use the uh, steel rain or real steel or whatever it is, the AK variant that you that gives you the uh, ergo grip. You can put that on there and make it look a little bit more cool and tactical. But basically, this is what it looks like. Let's get up into some gameplay. Let me double check everything to make sure I got everything set up and I'm not a bot. Alright, cool. We're good. Take a drink of water while we wait. Alright, so... Basically, if you all don't know, private military contractors or PMC or, or security contractors, whatever, they basically do security work and close protection details over in combat environments or in hostile areas. And so they can have access to any gun pretty much at... Um, 
is available to them while they're in country. Um, if they're working on a military installation, sometimes they may get issued their own M4 or M16 to use. Um, a lot of them will end up using the AK-47 because it is the uh, host country uh, gun for like a buttload of different countries. Uh, the AK is, is used across basically the world. Um, and so it's going to be the most readily available to them. Um, and so... Um, basically, they probably get a. Yeah, I'm just speculating because I've never. I want to get into the world of private military contracting, but uh, I've never been overseas and never been deployed, so that makes it kind of difficult. Um, but that's neither here nor there. I'm just speculating. I'm assuming they get issued a bare bones wooden stock AK, and then they go on the civilian market and buy. Uh, parts and have them put on to the AK. Um, I myself have done this already on an AK. Um, I actually just did it to the stock. I bought a uh, damn, I can't. Um, a Wasser 10 that already had a uh, had front front rails on it, and so I basically just had to swap out the stock. Because I didn't like the stock that came with it. It had like a, a weird shaped folding stock. And so I, I opted to put a telescoping, uh, telescoping stock on here. Like what you see in game. But uh, anyways, enough of that. Let's, uh, let's get into how I feel about the gun and my thoughts and opinions on the thing. Um, so basically, I... I've really grown to like it. This will be my third game uh, playing because I messed up. Um, messed up recording on the first one. So, um, this will be my third game I play. Um, and I enjoy it. I, it's a lot of fun to use and I like how, how with the stock on there. Um, I will say that I tried to just throw the barrel on and not mess with anything else. And the gun felt... Terrible. It felt heavy and it was just slow and not fun to use. And this, the way it's set up right now, is a lot of fun. Like, I, I would even go as far as saying it'll probably be a lot of fun to. Dude, I need to reload. Bet you it'd be a lot of fun to play with, with an extended magazine and just go ham. Yeah, like, the fast target acquisition is just makes it just that much more fun to play with like it's just right there right there right there it's just a lot of fun to play with and out of all the variants though i would not say this is my favorite it's going to be up there in the, at least the top top two um i think i definitely really like the crank um it just, it was fast, it felt like an SMG, and it just had the good stopping power. Um, good but work. this feels they good, go and I really like it. And if y'all enjoyed this video, and y'all liked the way the gun looked, go ahead and try it out yourself. It's a lot of fun to use, and you just see me going ham. And, but anyways guys, this is the PMC AK and how to make it. This is the AK-47 variant, and like I said before, I'll probably end up making an AK-74 variant. But anyways guys, if you liked it, please like and comment and share. And if you think I deserve it, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Y'all have a good night.